Hello there again. It's Joanne. I'm back again. I was playing around with this trying to see if I could do some type of flower like just trying to learn how to paint like this and I was using this kids paint here because I don't want to waste my acrylic paint and so I thought okay well we still got to work on it and you can see in here I came in too far onto that center piece but um I just said I'm going to just get on and try and do something because I keep telling myself to do a short, do a short, do a short, but um, I ain't got no short right now. I ain't got no short because I'm trying to learn some stuff and when you're trying to learn it, you can't do it in 60 seconds. Um, also, I thought about this. I was like, well, you should, you know, do something to this cover and I'll probably come back and do something to the cover but not right now because right now <clears throat> I'm really like trying to learn how to paint flowers and petals and those kinds of things with getting my journaling stuff together so I'm going to be playing around with these kids paints that I've had for a really long time and I've had these like longer than seven years. I'm sure, I'm sure. Probably near 10 years I've had this paint. And it's not going bad. It's fine. My grandson used to um, play around with this, especially when I started my channel. He feels like I want to paint. And so he gets to play with these kids' paints. Every time I open this, it's cracking up on there. But anyway, I said. Let me just get on here and try something. So, you know, you guys can have some content up because I don't have no shorts right now that I'm really focusing on. And I don't want to not do, you know, something that's short content. Okay, so I'm just going to water this down like it's watercolor because I'm not buying no water paint. I only want the metallic water paint and that's what I ordered and I'm using that for projects so I'm not going to be playing with that um, like here but there's this one person I follow and um, she is really really good she's an art teacher of some sort I'm sure um, and she's her name on YouTube is Rebel Unicorn and I watch her a lot on her shorts. And um, she's really good. And so I am going to try this. I didn't see this um, particular from her channel. I saw it from someone else's channel. But she said when you're doing watercolors, basically you only need one brush. And it just needs to be a round brush with a really good sharp point to it. And I ordered some brushes like that. I'm not sure if mine has a really sharp point, but it has something, <clears throat> excuse me, that is pointy. So I just want to kind of play around and see if I can develop a technique of some sort. You know, because some people are just doing what they call doodles, right? And um, it's just what they said, a doodle, just them messing around, drawing something, and they put it up, and that's what they do, and they get a lot of views for it, and um, I don't even know. You know, I don't know. I guess maybe I put too much thought process in it, and I tell myself all the time, you're not an artist, you're not an artist, and some of these other people aren't either, but they... Um, I guess they kind of know what they're doing. And so I'm going to put a little bit of brown in one of these. Y'all know I mix colors. So I'm going to put a little bit of brown in here. See, I had this about 10 years, but, you know, it's still pretty good um, in texture or whatever. It's probably just like when we were kids and went to school and we had these, um, uh, big jugs of paint that our paint teacher art teacher allowed us to use 
with finger painting or with those big popsicle sticks or with fat paint brushes. Now for this, I'm gonna add some of this water to it. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. I put water in all the rest of them just so it won't be so thick because we're gonna be playing around with these whether I'm on the camera or not. I'm gonna be playing around with them. But this is the last color I didn't add water to because the white one I think my grandson forgot to cap it up really good and it was really pasty and dry and I had to really work with that one but um yeah so this is you know it's fine like this because you see what it says it says kids paint you can trust washable so you know it's old school paint type of medium texture whatever you want to call it but this thing here was like almost throw it in the trash style. But now look at it. It's good. Get ready to fall right on out. Okay, good. So now we have this and I wanted to add the brown just so I can have a little bit of a darker uh, green or something like that. And I'm adding them to these different little couplets because it need to be wet. You know, it has to be wet so that you can kind of work with it a little bit. I'm just mixing them, just making the little paints because I'm just going to be trying to paint these leaves and these, you know, stems. That's what I'm working on. So now we got three different uh, shades of green. Okay. And now that's it. And the brush has to be like really wet. So uh, I see them doing all kinds of things on here with this. I'm going to put this up as far as I can put it so that you can see. And they're coming in with these things like this here. And, uh-oh, too wet, huh? But you can recover from that. And they're using these points and coming in, okay? And then it leaves these sort of lines like that or something. And when it does that, then it's kind of like, um, you know, you can drag this out and come around and drag that and come around and come back to the middle. Okay, that's what I've been seeing about this stuff. Now let's look at this one. This is a darker one and I've seen them doing something like this. Okay, mine don't look exactly like that. How this did. I don't guess I have enough paint there. All right, let's get a little bit more. Uh, that's all it was doing, wiggling the brush. See, it's like I don't know how to do it, but I'm trying. And I guess I shouldn't do that. But the whole concept is that they said that these leaves and stems come in all kinds of shapes. And it's no kind of right or wrong one. So I guess that's kind of how that could look. Try to put the point back in there a little bit. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. Let's wash that out because we want to go and get another... That almost looks like, I don't know, some type of cactus or something. Okay, so let's get some more of this bright green. And let's see. Um, then they said you can just go this way and bounce in and out. Well, my hand ain't out the way it needs to be, I don't guess. But... The idea is with watercolors, and you can put.
put a lot of water in there because it's got the color in there and then you just come in here and do something like this and I was like why can't I do that kind of stuff I don't know let's get me a little bit more of that dark one and see if we can kind of pull this in a little bit Oh, too wet. But this is the concept of watercolors. All right. Okay. Well, I don't know. Um, What should I try now? I don't know. They did something like this. She was using all colors, blues and reds and all things. And she named these flowers. Um, But I don't know. I guess I don't have the kind of point. She said that she couldn't find the kind of point that was really, really sharp. So she had her brush made. Well, we already know we're not going to get no brush made. So that kills that idea. But, you know, we're just going to try to play around and be happy with what we can come up with let's see so then there's this other thing that's kind of like almost like circles i don't know how you get that going with this kind of but she said when you have this round with this sharp point then all you need is to focus from the point toward the um, middle of the brush and you can make all sizes. And surely I saw her make all sizes. Now the things that I see on shorts with um, the pen that people be making, it surely don't be real flowers. It's just whatever, you know, people design Okay, then you can come up with something. I'm just telling you what I was looking at on on the um, video I was looking at. And it's like, come up with all of this kind of thing. I don't know. I just, I just want to be able to do something that makes sense but none of it don't look right to me you know I don't be knowing um I don't know which way to go I guess it's okay. I don't really know. I don't know. I just want to try it and see if it kind of jives or something like that. Like, oh, you got it. But it don't look like I got it. All right, and then you got to use these stems. Let's see. Let's get some of this. It's got a little bit of red in it or something. I see it up there, but you got to come in here some kind of way and come out. And then you connect these things to this. And then you, okay, so I guess that one can be on there. Maybe we'll put one more. Okay, I guess it doesn't look like it, you know, is right. When you're going to stop, I don't know. Is one missing? I don't know. I'm just trying. Somebody might like it. Somebody might not. But we're coming together with something here. And... 
Okay, now let's try and put us a, a stem on here somewhere. She said, bring your stem out of the middle and come on down and then give it some green, some greenish at the bottom. So here we go. That's what she said. Drop some color in. I'm, my idea was to use this, make it watery, so I could have the watercolor type of effect to it. I don't really know. You know, I don't know. So here we go for that. And I'm not sure what this will need right here. If this look like some type of cactus or something, I'm not sure what to do with this. So. We'll just leave it like that and then these are just leaves and this one here this ain't looking like nothing some kind of bush or something I'm not sure maybe it needs something coming out here like this I don't know but I'm coming in here and fill it in because it don't look so good to me but you know, art is art, and you don't get to determine it just yourself. I mean, people do. They do what they do, and they call it art, and somebody somewhere likes it. And I don't know. Is it okay or not? Okay, so let's kind of wash the brush out again, and Let's look for a way of getting some teeny, teeny ones. Okay, I'm going to try to get some teeny, teeny ones. I hope these don't run because I don't really know if they will. Just using my tip of my brush. Let's see. Can I get, can y'all even see it? Somebody has been uh, knocking on the door across the street for a, about an hour and a half they cannot get in and I've been saying to myself if someone is in that house and they have not heard these people knocking all this time something is really really wrong and one is two two young people I guess I would say one looks like he's at least 17 or 19 I don't know, because some kids are big, and, you know, I don't know how old he is. And the other child looked like he's about seven or eight, but they've been knocking almost two hours. I don't know when they're going to stop knocking. I don't think I'm doing so good with this teeny um, thingy here. But maybe it's all right. I shouldn't have dragged that one in because it's like, I guess you can see it better now. I don't know, y'all. Y'all see me? I'm trying. And this is long already. It's kind of like a fern, I guess. I'm not sure. Kind of will look like to me a little bit. I'm mixing the leaves kind of so that you get a little bit of all of them, all three of the colors. And I certainly don't know how to make a, a stem No. Meanwhile, I ordered some Christmas books for my junk journals. I've been waiting for them for a few days. They came today, and I did not look through them yet, but I'm getting ready to. I said, before you start looking in that, you need to try and think about... Um, 
doing something on the short. And when I look at this, this ain't short at all. It's like, okay, why are you going up here? I don't know, because I'm not an artist. And I um, always be messing up something. Okay, that's why. All right, so that's that one. And uh, I don't know what else to say about this. Let me give me a little bit of, I don't know, let's get a little bit, do something else here. I don't know. Let's just make some kind of use this paint up. It's almost gone. Um, uh, gotta use a little more green. This bracelet makes too much noise when I'm on this table. My daughter just gave me this bracelet for my birthday. All right. I don't know. I still don't have too many of those leaves. confused as to how it's supposed to actually come. I guess this is, you know, okay. I don't really know. Um, so all this was about was just trying to work on Leaves. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's try to put a little one in here. My son is coming through the door, I think. I think I hear him. And he's on the phone. Yeah, that's him. So I'm going to end my video because... Um, not sure how, how to, how to handle this. Here he comes, all loud. He knows him. He said, Ma, you get out of the bed and go sit right at this desk. And that's where you be all day. And then he come in here on the phone. You doing better with them sons. Oh, yeah. I am. See how he came in here talking? I told y'all. Okay, now, I don't know. I tried to make these like, you know, y'all see what I tried to do. All right, so that's that. I just, you know, wanted to try it and see. It's not too long of a video. 24 minutes. And maybe somebody will like. I don't know. Is this botanical? Is this, you know, okay? All paints that I use, 
um, on whatever. I don't really know. Like this is going to dry and this is almost dry. And these are going to become pages in my journals. So, I don't know. Please like, comment. Please comment. Nobody comments. Rarely do people like. But somebody will comment every now and again. But, you know, it's nice to see what people think. And, um, yeah. So, thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I hope that you will uh, consider subscribing. And I hope that you will join me in my next video.